my friends. Welcome to 30 Inks, 30 Days, day 16. <clears throat> uh, as you can tell, I am 100% recovered from whatever has gotten me down. <clears throat> so let's look at yesterday's splat. This is, again, this was Sailor Ink Studio in, the, uh, in 224 in my Edelweiss, which, I mean, I love, I love, I love. But we're moving on to today. Um, I was, like, looking at my selection of inks and I, that I had picked, right? And I just was like, you know what's missing? Look at this. Shimmer. There's hardly any. <sighs> Gotta fix that. <laughs> Do you think? Uh, I'm so now maybe overdoing it in this shimmer, but whatever. Um, so today's ink is from the Birmingham Pimp Company, and it is Galactic Twinkle. Um, and I find their shimmer inks to be over the top. Like, hold up. Okay, maybe not as much with this one, but with Cranberry Twinkle, there was a straight up shimmer floating on it. Um, <clears throat> and like, I don't know if you can see how thick a layer of shimmer there is on the bottom. So we'll spend an hour or so shaking this and making, oh no, what? 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 I don't. Where did this come from? Uh, well, that happened. Anyway, and today's drink is masala chai. Or some people call it chai tea. Then you learn that chai means tea, and you're like, oh. So, I got a recipe for from my friend, co-worker, who really enjoys a cuppa, at least of uh, masala chai. And um, I think I'll share it, but with the way I tweak it. But, like, note that there's not, like, one true way to season your chai. Um, your masala chai. Okay, I'm gonna go deal with this real quick. Slightly better. So it looked when I was shaking it like the glitter wasn't really breaking up. Like it was just like floating in there. So we're gonna give it some more time. Um, oh, and I, so here's the swatch card. Hello, Maria, for Galactic Twinkle. You can see it's like one of those red sheening, magenta sheening uh, blues. And the shimmer is eh, blue. Um, let's get this ready. And I'm going to put it in my Twisby Eco Transparent Blue. Probably has a broad nib. Where, oh, I have my loop here. We'll check. Okay, now this got us. So I don't know how. I'm wiping the edge of the cap on here. We're not doing a very full fill because I have two other shimmer blues inked, I think. Oh no, it dripped. It's all right, Maria. You've got stuff to clean it up. So, I don't know. Why do people always apologize for the sniffles and when they have colds and videos? Why do we do that? There's no, is it considered rude to be sick? I'm not sure. 
legitimate question. Like it's, I'm sure if I like sneezed, I'd probably say something. I, let me ask you, when someone sneezes, do you say something to them? Are you like a bless you or, or a gazoond, gazoond tight or something like that? <clears throat> My automatic response <clears throat> for bless you is so strong that I said it to someone I passed, <clears throat> I was passing on the street when they sneezed. <laughs> I wasn't like, I didn't know the person. Well, he's a neighbor, but I don't know him. Um, and I was just like, bless you. I was like, Maria, <laughs> good job. You made it weird. Um, I'm sure he didn't mind at all. So I think what I'm going to do is write this first since I'm a lefty. So we're going to say this is Birmingham Pin Co. Galactic Twinkle, um, Twisby Eco T Blue B, T Blue B. <laughs> Blue B is fun to say. Try it. And then the drink is Masala Chai. Um, I'm going to note that the, the muscle chai I'm drinking today is not from this delightful recipe. Um, I hope you'll forgive me for using my loose leaf version. I am mostly horizontal for most of the day. <laughs> it's like I'm ill or something. I don't know. Um, zooming in a little and we're going to get syringe prepped first flat uh, come on uh, oh there we go okay and now we'll do automatic pin i hope this has a sufficient amount of shimmer we got a little shaky hand at the end there I, it's like I don't even see any shimmer, and I am upset. <laughs> like, you saw it all. It's there. We know there's shimmer. Oh, it's in there. It's in the writing. Gee, girl. Chill. Do you see it? Can you see it? Let me move it around some more. Sorry. Sorry. Let's come over here. <clears throat> keep it together okay you out there you also keep it together please I'm depending on you one of us has to okay 30 inks 30 days April 2024 day 16 ink for Birmingham, Pinco, Galactic, Twinkle. There's so many letters there, it's tiring. Pin, Twisby, Eco, Transparent, Blue, Rodman, Drink. Masala chai. Oh, it is beautiful. I'm very happy with my ink choice. Very happy. Let's also be very happy with some tea. Oh, so delightful. Um, okay, how do we splat? Okay. We prep. We prep. By the way, I have like three or four inks that are just kind of this color. <laughs> this, I have Cenote, I have Cat, which is a, a bit of a brighter one, and um, Glamorous Peacock. <laughs> and 
I don't know that I really need all of those, but I do know I'm not sad about having all of them. Because <laughs> it's me, I like blue. I'm blue. Dabba dee dabba da. There, does that look like a galaxy twinkling? I just watched um, Lau's video. That's your name, right? Is it Kim Chan? Um, about wet versus dry inks, and I have thoughts and feelings about it. I think it's really good. And I think he touches on something really important, which is he gets into wet versus dry pens. Uh, my contention is that pens are wet and dry and inks are lubricated and unlubricated and saturated or unsaturated. And, um, or you could even say viscous and less viscous, but I will contend there's no such thing as a wet ink or a dry ink. But that is the terminology we use, so let's stick with it. Um, my example of a, what seems to be a really wet ink is Emerald of Shavor. And I put that in my, in my VAC 700 Broad, which is a very wet writing pen. And it was like almost out of control. <laughs> it was obscene. It was like, I wrote a letter to my friend Pete and I'm like, this is obscene. <laughs> it was delighting in it. I'm really liking how this is looking right here. Yeah. Um, I just saw the movie Starman for the first time. That movie was great. <laughs> Newsflash. <laughs> how old is that film now? Uh, anyway. And then, except I had the weekend, this, this song by the weekend, Starboy, in my head the whole time. <laughs> They're not really related at all. Okay. Day 16. Shut up. Day 16. Um, Birmingham. Pin codes. Galactic. Twinkle. The eco trans blue broad. Okay. Muscle a chai. So, <clears throat> and, and again, this is thanks to Ethan, who you don't know, but he's awesome. Well, maybe you do know him. If you know Ethan, tell him he's awesome. Okay, so this is, we're gonna say, four green cardamom pods, smashed seeds. One cinnamon stick, 10 tennis. I like saying tennis because it's like tennis, but if you're Sean Connery. Finish black peppercorns. Um, let's see, star anise. If you don't like um, anise, don't put a full star anise in there. Put less than a full one. Uh, I like this. Is, let's see some. Grated nutmeg. Do this fresh or leave it out. Also, just get fresh nutmeg, man. Those things last basically your whole life. I bought a jar. I'm probably going to take my whole life to use it. And it's great. Um, we're going to say five cloves. You know, like those po pointy jabby things that cut your fingers. Uh, about like... I'm going to say uh, 1.5 centimeters ginger sliced. I hope you appreciate that. Four cup water. One cup milk. Sugar to taste. It can be sweet. 
two Tibbs, a Sam leaves. Here you go. So you just kind of add the spices to the water. You let it simmer until it reduces down to like three cups. Then you turn off the heat and add the Assam and let it steep. Then you add the milk and bring it to a simmer. Remove from the heat and add sugar to taste. Or if you're the only one drinking it, just add the sugar when it's hot. Look at it, I got... It's fine. So that's how you make masala chai. The OG legit way. And then there's also this thing you can do where you like between cups. That helps chill it down, but it also like aerates a little and it makes it nice. Also, if you want, instead of adding the milk here, you can just um, steam some milk and add it to your cup and make it like fancy, like a latte. Um, who knew you were here for this? Okay, so this isn't quite dry, so I can't do the calendar page, but look at that. Gorgeous. Happy with my choice. So, sorry this has, like, been rambly, but this is what happens. This is me. This is my life. And I appreciate you sharing it with me. There we go. Here we are. I hope whenever you're watching this, you are having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.